attack engine was racing across the island of Sodor. He was very excited, and he didn't want to be late. Raj on chime, said the fat controller. Thomas and Percy looked at the big tank engine. He was very smart. This is Arthur, said the fat controller. He's here to shunt trucks and pull freight. Nice to meet you, puffed Arthur politely. And he's got a spotless record, the fat controller added. Eh, uh, what's a spotless record? whispered Percy. It means he's never been naughty or made a mess, replied Thomas. The three engines were soon at work. Thomas and Percy were bumping trucks. They knew this was naughty, but they were having fun. Join in, Arthur, said Thomas. No, thank you, wished the new engine. He'd never been naughty before. Arthur's first job was to push a trainload of fruit to market. The truck started to sing. A root to toe, we want to go. The fruit's going enough, because you're too slow. How rude, huffed Arthur. This gave Thomas a naughty idea. The fat controller doesn't like the truck singing, said Thomas. You must stop them. Thank you, said Arthur. I will. Arthur was glad he could keep the trucks in order. He'll never stop the trucks from singing, laughed Thomas. Arthur chuffed cheerfully through the countryside. Soon, the truck started singing again. Chuff, 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 you tug and huff, but you're so rusty you can't even puff. Stop singing, huffed Arthur. Trucks should do as they're told. The troublesome trucks were cross. If they couldn't sing, they would teach Arthur a lesson instead. We'll show him, they giggled. He can't push us around. Arthur struggled over bridges. And he huffed and puffed through tunnels. He came over the top of a big hill. You can't catch us, laughed the trucks. Weesh! But there was trouble ahead. Duck had stopped at the crossing at the bottom of the hill. Arthur's driver applied the brakes, but it was too late. Whee! Squashed fruit flew Just like French. 